Stevenage Borough moved back up to fourth place in the conference, their highest since mid-September, as they overcame Kidderminster Harriers at Broadhall Way. Borough had the referee to thank on two occasions as Graham Wesley's men re-established themselves as a playoff force with their third league win in a row. However, it was Kidderminster playing in white who had two early chances to go ahead. Inside five minutes, a Wilson cross was headed goalward by Christie, but it was an easy claim for Alan Julian in the Borough goal. Meanwhile, at the other end, it was a former Harriers player who nearly opened the scoring. Darren Stamp did well to latch onto Danny Bullman's powerful left-wing cross. However, Danny Lewis pulling off a fine save in the Kidderminster goal. Indecision at the back for Stevenage nearly allowed Kidderminster to get on the score sheet on 12 minutes. Christie with a fine shot, the block by Berkes for Stevenage. On 22 minutes, we did have the opening goal via the penalty spot. The guilty party was Wayne Hatswell, who handled inside the kiddie penalty area. He was finally giving a yellow card for abusing the referee rather than for the initial handball. He was lucky to stay on the pitch. Anyway, a finely taken penalty by man of the match, Darren Stamp, made it Stevenage 1, Kidderminster Harriers 0. Just three minutes later, Stamp threatened to double his and Stevenage's tally. He was on the side, but Daniel Lewis stood up well in the Kidderminster goal to deny him that second goal. From the resulting corner, Stevenage were to bag a second. A delightful ball floated in by Bullman, and Barry Laker was there to bury it in the back of the net. Stevenage 2, Kidderminster 0. Michael Blackwood was a constant threat for Kidderminster up against his old side and it was a delightful run by him down the left hand side that really should have resulted in a goal. He'd done all the hard work, there was no one in the middle to tuck it in. Into the second half and Barry Laker turned from hero to villain. On 65 minutes an innocent enough back pass from him but he hadn't seen the run of Christie whose own header beat Julian to make it 2-1. Any hope Kidderminster had of gaining something from this game were all quashed a minute later as they gave away a silly penalty on 68 minutes. Wayne Hatswell launching himself in against George Boyd, the referee pointing to the spot, Hatswell lucky to stay on the pitch. So step up Darren Stamp to get his second from the penalty spot, ironically enough sending it the same way as the first, the keeper going the same way but still not managing to keep it out. Stevenage 3. Kidderminster won the scoreline now. So Stamp was now on his hat trick and you bet your bottom dollar he was going to try any chance from any distance. This one from 20 yards out just before the 79th minute, the keeper saving well. Stevenage, they couldn't find any more goals in the pot but they ran out 3-1 winners in this one. It takes them up to fourth in the conference table. At the final whistle then at Broadhall Way, Stevenage Borough 3 Kidderminster Harriers won.